I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, you're welcome. Glad to be here. What makes a great project manager? A large part of my career uh, uh, in uh, the last uh, 20 years, more than 20 years, has been in, uh, as a project manager in project organizations. And uh, when I began my journey uh, as a project manager, uh, the term project management and project manager were uh, just, uh, were pretty early, okay, it was pretty early in the game and I didn't even get to put a, the, the, the title project manager on a business card until uh, uh, about the mid-70s because no one would have, no one would have known uh, what I was. Uh, so I had a chance to uh, grow up with the project management profession itself and uh, to, uh, in a sense, I helped to invent what a project manager is because I was uh, among, the early, uh, among the early players. And I think uh, what makes a, a, a great project manager is the capacity to constantly keep in mind what it is that, that you're producing, to keep your eye totally focused on the goal, recognizing that the path to the goal, despite your best made PERT charts, and uh, the, despite all, the, uh, all the, uh, the, these detailed plans that you're given at the outset, the, the real key to the success is to keep your eye on the goal and to be able to uh, make adjustments accordingly. I think uh, it's uh, very, very important uh, to, re uh, to recognize as a project manager that you are, yeah, you are the, uh, the, the piece of bologna between two slices of bread. The top slice of bread is the, uh, uh, it could be a project sponsor or some, some level of more senior management and then the, the team itself. So I think the great project manager recognizes that a large part of uh, his or her job is to serve the needs of management. Okay, you're there to, to do a job and, and management has their concerns and if it's a private company, it's profitability. If it's government, to produce deliverables that may help soldiers or to help government function better. So you need to serve and the, the, the word servant comes, uh, serve comes up over and over again uh, when you talk about project management. You need to serve uh, your managers, the people above you, and by golly, you need to serve your team. So part of, a large part of your job between uh, upper management and your team is to try to reconcile these uh, two different worlds. So you're going to make sure through upper management that they give you the support that, that, that you absolutely need to enable your team to, to function effectively. So I think that's the real key to recognize your job is to be the bridge between the organization's goal as envisioned or Des described to you by, by your bosses, and then what your team really needs to, to be able to function effectively. What made your career take off as a project manager? The, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I, in my case, stumbling into, a, uh, uh, into an environment, a uh, first-rate company in my case, a small company, uh, uh, stumbling into an environment where you had very, very sharp people uh, uh, you're surrounded by uh, people who are uh, quite capable and uh, uh, you're given opportunities then uh, you're, we had cl clearly defined projects uh, to, uh, to work on so that was very helpful uh, just to, to, to create the basis uh, of, uh, of, 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 of doing project work and then in my particular case uh, the uh, my when I joined this, this particular company where we were doing government contract work and uh, research and development, my boss said to me, he said to me when I first joined, he says, uh, David, our sing my, gr my single greatest challenge, everybody we have in our organization went to the top 10 American universities and they have doctorates from the, the top schools and this and that, but nobody can uh, bring projects to closure. He says, if you, if you can bring projects to closure, uh, you're going to uh, do very well here. And uh, three years later, I was a vice president. I, everything I did, I was able to bring to closure, and I was dealing with all of my colleagues were astonishingly smart, uh, but they did struggle a bit to, uh, to, to stay focused, say, on the project, and to just know how, how, to, how to conclude things. So that was the uh, first guidance I ever received, and one of the only, maybe the only ever gu guidance I ever received by uh, someone on how uh, I should conduct myself as a project manager and it was the single best uh, piece of advice I ever had because it began the career and, uh, and, and my career went up pretty quickly after that. 
What is the best advice you ever given as a project manager? So uh, when I look back, I reflect on uh, uh, my early days in project management when uh, it was just very vague. What is project management? It, we used to call, you know, joke about it being the accidental profession. You stumble into it. Uh, nobody in those days uh, uh, set out to have a career in project management. There was no uh, project management standards or certification. The organization, the Project Management Institute itself, uh, uh, was, uh, had just been in existence for a number of years and they were struggling to define themselves. So when I first went into it, uh, it was uh, we were inventing, reinventing the rules, and and uh, uh, I was fortunate. Uh, although I don't consider this a, a mentor relationship per se, but the president of my the small company I was working in uh, uh, came to me one day and said, "You know, your your fellow employees, uh, everybody here uh, went to a." a top 10 school. I didn't go to a, a top 10 school, so I, I may have been the only one not to have gone to a top 10 school, but I had a great education uh, at, at the school I went to. But these are the famous schools uh, that they're all very, very smart. No one could ever question their intelligence. And uh, he said, uh, uh, my big problem, though, is that I have all these smart people, but they can't bring things to closure. So if I could bring things to closure, he said to me, I'd have a, a, a good career. Uh, in this particular uh, uh, organization and uh, uh, one thing I can do is I can bring things to closure and within three years I was a uh, vice president and uh, so uh, that was uh, that piece of advice has served me well throughout. The, in the end uh, on time within budget uh, uh, according to specs in the final analysis uh, the organizations I work with the environments I work with is the, the, the least forgiving, you can always bend the specs, and there, there are different ways of achieving, achieving the specs. Uh, people tolerate uh, some measure of cost overrun, but the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the deadline date in many organizations is, is very hard because your product feeds into a whole stream of activities. So uh, bringing things to closure, when my boss said that to me, I took that uh, to heart and, and uh, it, 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 it helped really propel my career. Is getting qualifications and certifications important for a career in project management? Now one of the, uh, the, the big questions that I get from uh, young people, and not only young people, the uh, people who are doing career, career transitions is uh, how important is it uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, achieve uh, certifications and, and qualifications? And my answer is uh, that it, uh, it can be very important. Uh, not because uh, through the qualifications you're smarter, uh, but because uh, right now in many organizations those certifications and qualifications, uh, uh, they're the, you, you can't even get an interview without them. Okay? So they're, they're a very important filter in, in many organizations. So I do think uh, certifications and qualifications uh, don't overdo it. Uh, you've got a life to live. Uh, you've got to go out and achieve things on the one hand. On the other hand, there are, you know, identify what the key certifications and qualifications uh, are that are needed for your career advancement uh, and work, work very hard to achieve them. And then uh, that'll, uh, that'll get you into the game. Uh, that, uh, by the way, uh, for myself, I really enjoy studying. So for me, the process of going through obtaining these certifications and qualifications uh, does increase my, my knowledge base, but to me the most important thing about them is that uh, they're, they, they, they're the filter uh, that a lot of companies use and government agencies to even uh, get an interview at the organization. What do you recommend to other project managers starting their career? Okay. Uh, when uh, I come across uh, people uh, starting uh, their career, and I'm talking here about truly starting, I'm talking about young people, I, have, I also deal with a lot of people who are doing career shifts, and we have, I have different guidance there. But for young people uh, who are starting uh, their career, uh, uh, the, uh, it's, it's, it's old-fashioned advice. You've you got to work very hard. You've got to really uh, learn, uh, uh, learn everything you can. Uh, when you're in an organization, the people that are going to get ahead are the people who make their 
uh, their, 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 their clients' j uh, lives easier, if you, or your boss, if, you, if, if I can use the term boss these days in the democratic organization. But the people uh, who fundamentally are giving, are above you in, in, the, in, the, in the system and whose, uh, whose uh, specific requirements you're addressing, your job is to make their lives easier. Okay, so, uh, 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 and that's been an operating principle I've had all my life, okay. You're, you're there to serve them. And the same thing with your customers. Your job is to uh, create an environment where uh, you don't uh, actually create trouble for people, uh, you're actually making their lives easier. And sometimes it requires bold gestures. I'm not talking about being passive at all here. Uh, sometimes uh, to make their lives easier, you have to do some pretty, pretty bold, risky things. But, uh, so as you're going through, uh, be the best you can be. Just be superlative so that people want you. Uh, you want to be a magnet uh, that attracts, uh, 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 especially, if, say, uh, uh, customers and, uh, and more senior managers. Uh, you want to attract them so that they, 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 they get you. They bring you up to the next level. And then at that level, you, uh, again, you're the best. You're the one everybody wants uh, to... Uh, uh, to have on their team. So that would be my advice. Be really good uh, and, uh, and then serve people. That's your job is to serve them. You serve people, uh, they, uh, they <laughs> uh, that's a door opener. They, they, they appreciate it, even whether, it may not, may not even be con uh, conscious. They'll just say, wow, uh, this per everything I needed or, or uh, this is one of the first people I've worked with who uh, didn't create more problems than they resolved. Do you think project management helps a career as a company director or board director? Okay, uh, I have an uh, opportunity by dint of what I do in my life to, uh, uh, to uh, work with various boards, uh, uh, corporate and nonprofit, uh, public sector uh, steering committees, which are in a sense their boards. Uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, one of the things that becomes pretty clear to me is that uh, the uh, project management, the, the basic discipline of project management, understanding goals, understanding that you're operating uh, under uh, uh, constraints, that there some constraints are more forgiving than others, uh, but the idea is to, uh, to operate effectively towards achieving the various goals. I think uh, that aspect of project management uh, could be uh, helping the governance of board substantially. I, I, I really do. And uh, I think uh, the, uh, uh, in particular, there are lots of, lots of parts of project management that, that I was most interested in that aren't your standard uh, 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 critical uh, techniques and so on. But for example, requirements, uh, I've always been, I'm a requirements expert, a large part of my uh, project management work focuses on uh, trying to communicate requirements effectively. And I think uh, on boards, communication is super crucial. Uh, boards need to understand what the requirements are uh, that the organizations they serve need to address. They need to know their own requirements at the board level of uh, what they need to do to function effectively. So I, I think, uh, I can't imagine uh, how uh, uh, project ma knowing something about project management will cause a, a board to function less effectively. I can see many, many ways where project management uh, insights uh, can uh, 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 help our boards to be just uh, far more effective than they are uh, at present. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.